Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here, back with Oxygen Not Included. And in this episode, I want to get in uh, into space. That's the main goal. Um, if we kind of zoom out here and head up to space. Last episode, I got this um, not so great steam contraption running. We've got 200 grams of water going in per second. And this coolant here is actually getting pretty cool. Um, the goal was to try to use the coolant to cool down all of this so that the coolant could keep flowing, which basically makes this nice and hot. So it's kind of working. We've got lots of steam in there, but we need to get the telescope working. So speed things up and we're going to try to make a little, let's see here, a little kind of peek around thing here. Now this is all going to cave in, so we'll have to dig it out. And hopefully it'll get trapped. Now it takes them a while to get up here. We do have a tube coming most of the way, but not all the way. So this is going to be just a way to sneak around here so we can keep this cleaned up. That's going to take a while to dig out. <laughs> Okay, we can't, for some reason, we can, oh yeah, we can dig that, okay. And then we're going to dig this out before they run away. And I don't know where this piece of meat came from. I think it came from a, maybe a shovel that was up in here before, uh, yeah. So I'm going to put a little, another thing here just to protect their little heads. Now this is going to block the view slightly of the telescope, but that doesn't really matter too much. And we need to power this door, or at least set some automation up here. So I'm going to use steel. And we'll control that door down here with like a, maybe another hydro switch out of gold, I mean uh, steel. Now I think we could open this slowly without power. We do have quite a bit of power on this line, but I think it'll be okay if we... Oh, it's already powered anyway. Never mind. So let's see. This thing uses 120 watts. It's actually not too much. I'm surprised they're leaving this meat here. <laughs> so we're going to kind of just manually open the door uh, whenever meteorites come. We could set up a space scanner. That's what I should probably do. And the scanner actually works even if it can't see the sky, unless they fix that bug. Oh, we're kind of running low on coal here. Not running low, but they're not really filling it. Let's make this priority 8. Power's pretty important. And I'm keeping an eye on this whole thing, because I don't want this to get too hot in here, and I don't want it to get too cold. And we do have some steam I put in this gas reservoir. It's slowly cooling down, so I want to be able to get the rocket built before that. And I think I'll put the rocket right here. So we got to dig all that out as well. But we won't... Oh, it's opening. We won't be able to launch... Until... Let's just see here. We're going to get a line of sight. Maybe. There we go. Reduce visibility. That's okay. Visibility 36%. That's because these tiles are blocking part of the view. But hopefully we can get an astronaut up in here to start analyzing this asteroid down here. So, so someone should come up and start researching. And in the meantime, I'm going to dig, dig all of this out here. Here they come. Now this is all going to cave in. Uh, and actually, I thought I had to research the steam engine, but I researched it in the past just with the um, just the regular research benches and the advanced research. Okay, there we go. We're getting some star map mapping going. Let's see how fast that's going to take or how long. 
four, already eight percent already. Okay. Yeah, I really should have a scanner hooked up to this thing so we can close the door. But it, it doesn't take very long to research all these different planets. Oh, they did two of them. That's weird. Maybe you only have to analyze one of each type? Maybe that's new. Yeah, Mukun's a pretty good researcher, so... Let's see here. Athletics. Science 19. Yeah, so Mukun's going to blast through that. But let's get that rocket uh, planned out here. Do a steam engine right here, I guess? Maybe over a bit. And we're, we're going to need to build some ladders to actually build that. You know what? I'm going to clear out. I'm going to clear the way first here. We'll build a ladder right here. And this will be where our gantry is. The gantry. Okay, telescope idle already? Wow. Blazing. These are all carbon asteroids. How boring is that? Okay. We have a slight issue here. Now I gotta make sure they don't get trapped up here. So let's take that out. We'll have to keep this area pretty clean. Okay, how are we gonna do this? Um, let's try that rocket again. I basically wanna clear this whole area out first. Sure, I can't remember the distance that I need for this gantry every time. Maybe we can eyeball it here. We'll put it in after. We'll build the rocket first. Right here, maybe? I don't know. Sure. I think I'm going to need to build ladders kind of across here. Because they won't be able to dig any of this stuff. That's three tiles out. Let's just see how that gantry would look. I think that actually will... might line up nicely if I do it like that. We could always shift it over one. So this, this is one, two, three tiles away. So we'll put a ladder on the other side. One, two, three, put it there. Something like that. I think I gotta take this container away. Bring that ladder down and then just dig all this out. I think I'll do a ladder like this first. And then we can dig all this crap out. Cover this here and finish the ladder. And take this out. Oh, and more star map research. Oh, what's this thing? Oily asteroid. That's new. I've never seen that before. Petroleum, crude oil, that's cool. I don't think I've gone to space since the uh, full release. Now a lot of you uh, comment on the videos and I appreciate that. Uh, but as the channel's been growing, I've realized I can't respond to every single comment. I used to. Um, I definitely read them all. 
But the channel's grown so much, I get a lot of comments when I release a video now. So I'm not always able to respond to them all. I'm, I apologize. Okay, they can't dig here. I don't know what they're doing when they're spazzing out like this. They just stand around until they get sunburned? Maybe they're stuck. No? Camille. Go back to the base. Don't stand in the intense sunlight. Yeah, what are they what are they doing? They're like thinking. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Time to uh close the hatch here. We're getting pummeled. Quickly. Uh oh. <laughs> Poor Rowan. Okay, uh, escape. I'm gonna cancel this for now so they can get out of there. Run! Run away! Run away! Oh, that was a near miss. Looks like we're somewhat protected, though. Now, I usually build a big space shield up at the top. And we'll probably end up doing that, but... How much steel do I have? 19 tons. Okay, I think the meter shower might be over. I'm gonna set the priority of these right here really low. And we'll open that back up. Now I think we can safely put that steam engine back. Three tiles on either side. And we gotta dig this side out. Then maybe put some protection here. right here. Okay, that doesn't really line up. I want it to be lined up with this. I wish they could dig this under a building plan. Well, they're doing it anyway. Okay, perfect. Max. Huh. Yeah, they just kind of pause and don't do anything for a while. I think it's just lag. Slickster larvae. Uh, they won't survive, so we're not going to get them. Okay, let's make this priority... Oh, it is priority 9. Keep that research going. Okay, that was... almost a disaster. Okay, don't bury your head. Please. Uh-oh, he's gonna fall. No. <laughs> Okay, we're going to put a bunch of science modules on top of here. Probably five. No one really wants to build that. Okay, let's check our steam here. Make sure it's still good. 200 degrees, 178. The second we get this built, we can start shoving steam into it. I'm not sure I have enough ceramic though. Let's double check that. We have 2,800 kilograms. Hmm. 
Actually, it's going through a vacuum, so it should be fine if we just use a regular insulated pipe. Actually, even a regular pipe will work, in theory. Let's try that. Sandstone will go in right there. Now I've neglected the base a little bit. We don't, we need a great hall. We'll just let them build that. Red's gonna take forever building that, so. Let's go back to the base. Oxygen's still good. Food is amazing. I think I'll put a great hall in here, maybe. Or I could extend the bedroom. I kinda don't have a lot of space left here. Hmm. What do we got? Lag? We got polluted water stuck here. Yeah, I think I'll do another great hall over here. We'll kind of copy the layout. Something like that. Okay, that's 16. We need four more. Yeah, but a great hall has a minimum size, so we gotta be careful. I haven't tried any aeropods left, so I'm gonna yeah, so I'm gonna do some of those. Out of diamond, sure. Those look nice. And we can put tables in, under them. What's the minimum size here for a great hall? Let's see. Minimum thirty-two. I think I might have to make the whole room. That'll leave room for expansion. Again, what should we plant in here? Um, buddy bud, 20 degrees, nope. Joy seed will survive. Sorry, whenever I play the game, it gets super hot because my computer warms up. And then I have to take off a sweater. So, this looks pretty nice. I like the look of that. Oh, I like how they animate in there. Let's put some more of those in there. I like them. So, I notice the decor is like shining through. We do have to do some cleanup here. I'll sweep some of this stuff up. That'll all go into our our infinite storage, just down here. In fact, I never swept this up. Let's do a low priority sweep here. All this junk here. That'll end up down in this pit of pit of everything. Oh, and I should keep an eye on space. Oh. <laughs> That's unfortunate. I really need to do a scanner. And we could put that scanner down here somewhere. I think I will. If the game will still allow it. We got a lot of power on the circuit. I hope, hopefully we don't blow it. Now this telescope, it's too, is it too warm? Yeah, overheat temperature 275. We're just going to deconstruct it and rebuild it because it's too hot. And we'll 
get rid of these uh, ladders here so we can build the next phase of the rocket. Okay, this has to go. And we're going to do five science modules and then the top of the rocket. And I actually need to train train a rock, uh, rocket scientist here. Let's do, uh, I think Mokun is going to be a, he might already be trained. No, rocket pilot, suit wearing, rocket navigation. Perfect. Okay, let's put that science thing back. Telescope. Okay, we got the scanner. And we're gonna build a really long wire here. I think it needs to go through a knot gate if I remember correctly. So we'll put that through here. Put a knot gate. This will control the the door up here. We won't connect it just yet. Oh, this needs repair. This actually needs repair right away. Otherwise, this will break through and our steam will escape. Oh, oh, the steam is all gone. It's all in our rocket now. 43 kilograms. Okay, let's just get that flowing again. That's controlled with... Oh, I destroyed the wrong one. I'm an idiot. Okay, put that back. How much steam do we have in here? 57 kilograms per tile. That's good. We're going to start building research modules on top here. And a bit of scaffolding here, so that they can actually build this. I think I'll build a little shield right here for now. Okay, the steam is flowing, that's good, 200 degrees. We're just going to fill her up. We probably don't need all the steam, but... Let's see if we can get to the... Oh, we don't even have a rocket yet. We're going to do five modules, though. That way we'll kind of maximize each journey. Now, the rocket doesn't get damaged by meteorites, which is nice. Probably do a shield along here too. To protect the dupes and stuff. Now ideally, Makun here would do all the research before we uh, send him off into space, but there's a lot of planets to analyze. So we'll probably get another scientist do that to do that. Printer. Tablets. Yummy. I think I need to extend my tube so I don't have to crawl this ladder. Okay, where should we put that? Can we build a tube through this thing? Right through the knot gate. We should be able to. Yep, that can go all the way up to there. That is in the way. We could drop them right here. And let's take away some of these tiles here. 
And I already got a tube crossing right here. I love how they fly out of that. They can fly out the top, so we'll go we'll go this way. And straight up. That'll save them some time. They can pop out here instead. Okay, why is this door open? Oh, because I put the automation through it. Rookie mistake. We're going to have to go around. And I didn't quite hook that up. So we'll take this off. And connect it up. And let's check the signal here. It's not detecting any meteors at the moment, meteorites at the moment, so that's good. It's acting as expected. Let's uh, close this up or the door will... We're leaking all our oxygen out into space right now. I'll put some background tiles here just so that the gas doesn't fly out as easily. Just some low priority tiles there. Okay, we got the second one. Let's get the third one. Hopefully I have enough room to get them all. I should, should have enough. Now this door should be automated, which will be good. build. The door is locked. What? Okay. Um, we'll fix that. Let's have a little exit here if they want one. Steam is still flowing. Oh, I, I just remembered we should have had two pumps in here. I always forget this. To fill up faster, it's better to have two pumps. But I can't go in there now. Well, technically I could. But we're just going to leave it. Luckily, it'll, it'll queue up in here in between launches. So it might not be too bad. And I just realized we need a tube crossing here. Because all the air is just flowing out. We don't technically need a tile here, but I'm going to stick one there anyway. It's a little bit slow to build a rocket. I usually only build one, but I might build multiple rockets this time through. This is all in the way. This uh, mysterious room. That maybe actually has some lore to it, but I... Don't think we can check that just yet. Oh yeah, we can inspect it. Oh, new log entry. Oh, wrong key. I've added a new entry to my log, my pens. Okay. That's interesting. We're going one one higher here. Two higher. Building the tower. It'd be cool if we put the statue up here as well. It might melt though. Or get destroyed. <laughs> Monument top, midsection. What do we need for the top? Glass, diamond, steel. 
Monument base, we need 7,500 steel. Okay. We'll do it eventually. Uh oh. Is that a uh, meteorite? No, not yet. Food has decayed. I think I'm out of food storage. Yep. Bunch of stale food in here. Lots of raw eggs. Are we not, are we not cooking eggs up? Come on. Well, that's the coffee machine. Why am I clicking on that? Uh... Omelet. We don't, we're not even making omelets. What the heck? Frost bun, we'll make some of those. Jeez. That's not good. Okay, I gotta keep an eye on space where bad things are gonna happen here. I can just sense it. Okay, that's the fifth one. The fifth and final one. And then we'll put the top on and we'll launch the sucker. Assuming we have enough steam. Oh yeah, it's almost full. And then it'll start queuing up in here. Temperature's good. Coolant is not too cold. It is stuttering on and off a little bit, I think. We have this set to... Oh, it just turned off. This set to 14... So it'll turn it'll turn off the aqua tuner if the water is below 14 degrees, because we don't want it freezing in the pipes and breaking all these pipes. Okay, now for the top, the crowning achievement, and we'll need a gantry, so we must well get that ready. That's gonna go right there. So we're going to put a ladder like that. Then get rid of that, put the gantry in. <laughs> I guess I should build a proper ladder so they can just fly up here. This is kind of silly. Okay, there we go. Let's get Mokun in there. I guess it's safe. Once we get a gantry up. Rocket, gantry. I think we can use the gantry without power, but I'm not 100% sure. We'll definitely need automation. For now, we'll just do something cheeky with the hydro sensor. And we'll try to protect this area. So we'll do some bunker tiles just above their head. Like that. We could just build a silo all the way up. That's probably the best way to go. Keep them protected. But I just want to get this sucker launched. It only took two episodes. One to build the seam, one to build the rocket. Not too bad. Okay. Uh, we're going to need power up here. So we might as well get that ready. And should I use conductive wire? It might melt. This thing needs 1200 watts. I think we can... I don't think it needs to be powered though, to retract it. It'll just be it'll just be extra slow. I haven't skilled up the dupes in a while, so let's do that. Get them in exosuits. Get them with some hats. I can't really reach all the hats because the UI is kind of off screen. 
can always use diggers. Uh, more digging. Construction's good. Engineering's good. More digging. More digging. Okay, that's probably good. We keep everyone kind of around the 20 mark. Okay, is Mokun in there? Assigned. Okay, we need that suit. That's the problem. Okay, we're gonna have to build some... Oh. Meteorites coming in? No. I feel like the printer just came... Had stuff coming in, but... Anyway. Let's build some exosuits down here where all this power is. I think off camera I made a little hole here to get the liquid down here. And reinforce this a little bit. Not a big change. Okay, let's get the exosuits going in here. I thought I made some extras, but I guess not. Actually, let me double check. Let's check our resources here. Clothing. Nope, we need another one. that right there. Copper should be fine. And we'll just use heavy alt wire. We got 314 reed fiber, that's kind of insane. We could do a lot of paintings. I'm also going to do a textile loom right beside it. That way we can make a bunch of snazzy suits. Make the dupes even happier while they're in the base. But we'll come back to that. How are we doing up here? We got the top on. Got a bit of a shield. Let's try to retract this and see if it works. No. Okay, that definitely needs power. We don't really have enough power. 1200 watts. We would blow the circuit if I did that. We kind of need another whole power setup. Guess I'll do it right here. And this is all cold, so it doesn't matter if I really open this up here. And let's build a proper floor here. And we'll need a smart, smart battery. So I'll just copy this one. If you want to copy something, just click on it and then hit B, as in Bob. Bodacious. So we'll get this second power circuit up towards the top. Now should I use lead the whole way? I don't think lead will be a good idea. It'll probably melt. But we'll try it. If it melts, we'll, we'll change it. We could use steel instead. 38, okay. We'll get that done for sure. Melts at, oh, 327. That's probably going to melt. <laughs> right around here, yeah, this is all going to melt. So let's, let's change, jeez, what's going on here? Change this bit to steel. Because it's going to get really hot here. And this piece might be okay, 
when the rocket launches, it might heat up. We'll, we'll see. This area should be getting really cold. Because we're conducting all the coolness or all the heat in through here. Okay, now we just have to wait, I guess, until they build all this wire. I think all the lead is down at the very bottom. Do some more low priority sweeping as well. How are pips doing? Overcrowded. And we've got all these extra hatches here. How's the temperature here now? Pretty warm in here. Things are looking good. Uh, this area is not too hot. I think some of you were commenting, commenting that this gets all blocked up. So I should be sending it up to here. I might just do another outlet right here. Okay, back to the top. Oh, the door's closing. We got a meteorite coming in. Hopefully this stays uh, protected enough. I guess I could put one more tile in, maybe. Okay, I'm just going to do steel here, because it's taking them forever to bring the lead. And we have a lot of it, so... Just do that. Where are they all? What are they doing? Oh, I just saw one jet up. We need more exosuits up here. Probably need another power line for all of this. Uh, let's see, two kilowatt max. Put in another transformer here. Maybe right above it. Do like some mini, mini floors here. Uh oh, trapped. Trapped. We're trapped in the sand. Okay, how do I want to do this? Could just build a little mini floor here. Oh, and I never hooked those suits up. Never actually started to build them, so let's do that. That was good. Iron, sure. We'll do, f I don't know, 10. And then snazzy suits will do 15. Not super high priority. We seem to be lacking oxygen down here. Building entombed to, oh, damage overheated. Oh, what, the door didn't close in time. Probably due to our crappy signal. 
Yay, we get to build it again. <laughs> and if your rocket, if your steam rocket is entombed, if the engine part's entombed, it won't accept any more steam, which could be an issue. But once we get that suit made, I think Mokun will be ready for ready for space. We got a whole container of steam here, slowly getting cooler. Could build another rocket right beside this rocket. We got space. No pun intended. Go see if those suits are ready. Yeah, they're getting made. We got three of them. Let's uh, make sure it's actually getting delivered here. Has Atmo suit. Destination not selected. Oh yeah, okay. Well, we gotta put the telescope back first. Select our de destination and we'll be good to launch. Let's check out these five achievements. Okay, no, no sound effects there. Okay, we'll close this up. I'm trying to hit this X. Uh, there we go. Scan quality zero, but it still kind of works. We could have put it up here, but then we'd have to shield it and dig it out all the time. And it's kind of a pain in the butt. There's ways around it. You can use mesh tiles and auto sweepers and cool them. And it's just a pain in the butt though. It doesn't take very long to, to scan all the planets. So that's, that's why I'm doing this. Okay, let's do... Mokun assigned. Let's go to Carbon Asteroid. Try to launch. Is he on there? I guess he's on there. Okay, let's go slower here when we launch. Oh, we got a space race achievement unlocked. I guess I haven't built a rocket since the game came out. There it goes. Bye, Mokun. Okay, how hot did this get? 177. Not too bad. Meters are coming in. Oh, someone's really stressed out here. Max. But we got the massage table. We'll be fine. I think what I might do is finish off this whole thing here. We're gonna we're gonna seal this in. Protect this whole area. Maybe do the same thing on the other side. Call any achievement. Space Brace, launch your first rocket into space. Beautiful. Time to party. Should set up an arcade rhythm to play in. After we protect this area. Okay, let's check our star map. 11% underway. Let's do some more analyzing.
So they're gonna they're gonna come back with some research modules and we're gonna have to do some research. So let's get that put somewhere. We could do it in here maybe. Do a regular research station. Supercomputer. And how much power do we have on your potential? Power consumes zero. Okay, I think it's safe to use this one. And we need the research thingamajig. Uh, that is the virtual planetarium. Well, they. What if they change the size of this? I feel like it shrunk. Where should we stick this thing? We don't have any floors that are four high. We could stick it right here. By the bathroom. That would work. 2.42 kilowatts. Uh, which power is on this thing? 1.56. We could use this little power circuit over here. In fact, what am I doing here? I have this heavy watt wire here. All of this can go. This can go. That can go. That can go. We'll just hook, hook this up into our main, main grid here. I'll make things much easier. We'll do... Transformer here. Hook that into there. Hook that into there. Oh, they don't like going in there. I don't blame them. That frees up all that coal. I mean, we're still using power down below, but... Lag. Okay, this coal container can go. And let's make some more ceramic. We're, we're always going to need ceramic. We'll do 50 of this, 50 of this. Maybe a bit higher priority. Actually, I should have left the coal there because we need it for these things. What's well, on the ground? Should probably mop the floor here. Oh, they're running under cold water. Let's check up top again. Let's dig this out. Now I could put an auto sweeper here, but then it'll heat up and just overheat. Where's our rocket? 47%. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I don't think my door detection thing is working so well. Make sure the automation wire is still there, yep. Yeah. And we, we could move it up here. Build another door. See, it's kind of working. It's just super delayed. We're gonna wait for that rocket to get back before we finish up here. Okay, I didn't set this smart battery. Better do that so we don't burn all that coal away. Okay, I gotta use this as well. This is free power. Let me check my power usage down here. Are we even burning? 
Are we burning any natural gas at the moment? We are. Little trickles of it. We have spare petroleum. Lots of spare petroleum. So these are running a lot. Hydrogen's running up here. Oh, we got a bunch of ice stuck in there that's melting away. Let's, let's, uh, sweep that up. It should end up in here and trip down into here. I wonder how much stuff is in here now. Quite a bit in our infinite storage shed. What's the decor right here? Minus 244. Okay, that got smashed. This got buried again. What's going on here? It's about to overheat. Maybe we can catch it in time. <laughs> On rocket, eighty three per cent. We could do some more exploring as well. Let's head over this way. Let's see what we got over here. Come. Oh, they're not going to be able to get across there. Let's build a tile for them. Yeah, let's zoom out and see what's... Oh, it's still a long ways to go over here. I never used this water up here. Probably tap into that. I could be making lettuce as well. If I could warm things up enough. Oh, there's a geyser here. What could this be? Hydrogen vent. Oh, we like that. We like that a lot. We should get in there and get that going. I think I will go... This way. I think that was the rocket coming back. Yep. So we've got a bunch of research data banks here. We get should get five plus one, yeah, six. And a vacillator recharge. So that'll fill back up. Nice and quickly. Okay, I'm gonna watch this thing here to see if it gets bashed in. Yeah, I think it's when the door back opens back up, there's still... Oh, I know what's happening. It's just falling down on top. That's the issue. I wonder if I did something like this. Uh, if we did a Robo Miner right there, or over one. Not out of lead, but out of steel. That could dig out. That would work, I think. That needs power. It'd be risky to use that circuit. This one we could use quite safely. 
steel do I have? Quite a bit. Let's do this. And that should dig out this area. Maybe not quick enough to unbury it, but we'll see here. It, it, it actually it should. Okay, Yaris might, might get a asteroid on his head here. Now this will slowly heat up over time and overheat. But we might be okay for a while. Okay, this got buried. Okay, we're somewhat protected on this end. We need to do the same thing over here. Okay, that didn't help. <laughs> Probably should put some doors up there. Some doors for the rocket, but not yet. Okay, I want to see this in action just before we finish up here. Do disable auto repair on all these. Okay, they're repairing them anyway. Oh, this is all going to get dug out, so we should pre-dig this here, and then put a cap on it. Yeah, you did it! You did it. I haven't seen some shine nymphs in a while. Let them invade the base. Run omelet. Hmm. Uh oh, here comes their meteorites. This is all gonna get smashed in. Uh oh. Broken tile. That happens sometimes. Still haven't fixed that bug. That's an old bug. Okay, this is a nine. Oh, it's still broken. Jeez, I have to reload the game. meteors yet. Okay, we got 612 steam. Can we launch with that? No, not yet. I forget. Uh oh. Here it comes. Here comes the pain. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's going to dig all that out. Uh, that's not so good. Disable that. Priority 9. Actually, you know what? We'll just leave it. We'll build a ladder up to build that. Go across this, just so we can build that. Oh, we gotta go over even more. It'll cave in. Get your showers over. Oops. Okay, something like that should be good. That'll keep, uh, let's see the temperature of this thing. 42. It'll keep heating up because it's not being cooled by anything. 
But it'll take a while to melt, and then we can just rebuild it. Okay, I'll probably wrap things up here, but I just wanted to see what we discovered over this way. Oh, there's a geyser. Leaky oil fisher. Could be useful. Okay, can we launch with 795? There is a calculator. Oh yeah, we can launch now. Let's set this down at 800 or so. And let's launch. I think Mokun's still on there. We'll get two launches in one episode. We'll go to this one. Haven't been there yet. And she's off. But we're going to wrap it up here. Hope you enjoyed this episode. We got a rocket launch. That's good. Uh, we'll continue the research in this thing uh, next time. And we'll get, uh, get towards the petroleum rocket. Actually, let's check our research here. We need... We need to get over here. I guess I'll start researching that. Because the petroleum rocket's next. We'll graduate from the steam one. Maybe we'll keep the steam one, I don't know. And build a second rocket out of petroleum. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, as always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you all next time.